Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. 101 Solve Mechanical Engineering Problems HVAC 12. A chemistry laboratory contains two fume hoods, each rated at 1400 CFM. To ensure that a positive pressure exists in the room, 10% more air is supplied to the room than is withdrawn by the hood and room air return. This 10% is lost through leakage. 65% of the air removed by the fume hoods is supplied by the hood's auxiliary ductwork. The remaining 35% is supplied by the main room supply system. Assume all air entering is at the same condition. All air leaves the room at 72 degrees and 50% relative humidity. The air temperature increases 16 degrees between the times it enters the room and is extracted by the fume hood exhausts. In addition, the following is known about the room. We have the occupancy, one person per fume hood, the room area, 500 square feet, the lights heat gain, three watts per square foot, and the hot plates, 18 watts per square foot and they want to know a what is the heat gain in the room b what is the required volume of supply air c what are the conditions dry bulb temperature and relative humidity of the entering supply air and d what are the volumes of the auxiliary fume hood supply fume hood exhaust and room return air draw a diagram and label all entering and leaving air flows so let's start with the heat gain in the room. That's going to be based on the load, and we have a good amount of information about the load here. Basically, it comes from three sources, the lighting, the hot plates, and the people. So we'll take each one in turn, and we'll separate this out into sensible and latent, and then we'll total it up as well. So starting with the lighting, that's going to be entirely sensible load. So we have 3 watts per square foot, and there are 500 square feet of area. And we want this in BTUs per hour, so there are 3.412 BTUs per hour per watt. So that's 5,118 BTUs per hour. And that's sensible load, even though I'm spilling over into latent here. There's zero latent load coming from the lights. And then we have the hot plates, which I was prepared to assume was completely sensible load, but I cheated and looked at the answer solution, and they're allocating two-thirds of the load to sensible and one-third to latent. I guess the assumption is that the application of a chemistry lab would be using hot plates to boil some water or do something that produces latent load in the room. So I'm going to go with their assumption. I'm not sure how I would actually have come up with this in a test environment, but hopefully moving all this load to sensible wouldn't dramatically change the answer. And there are still plenty of other things in this problem that are worth thinking about other than this one assumption. So hopefully you can get on board with this. So it's 18 watts per square foot times 500 square feet times 3.412 BTU per hour per watt times two thirds since we're going to allocate the other one third to latent. That gives us 20,472 BTU per hour. And for the latent contribution, it's going to be one third. So I'm just going to cut this number in half since I don't have space here. That's going to be 10,236. And then for the people load, we'll just assume that these are average blended rates. So the average between men and women, the typical number is 330 all in, of which 225 is sensible and 105 is latent. So the sensible piece will be two people times 225 BTUs per hour, which is 450. And the latent piece is two times 105, which is 210. So let's total this up. On the sensible side, we have our total sensible load, Q dot sub S, 26,040. And then for the latent piece, we have Q dot sub L equals 10,446. So the total heat load would just be the sum of those. Q dot total, 26,000 plus the 10,000 is 36,486 BTUs per hour. And that is answer A. And now for B, they want to know the required volume of supply air. We're going to base that on the sensible heat load and assume that provided the entering air is dry enough that the latent load is able to be handled alongside of the sensible load, which is usually the case. If you want to check that, you can calculate the sensible heat ratio. It looks like it's going to be about 26 out of 36, which is just a bit over 70%. So it's a bit low, but it's in the ballpark. I think this assumption is reasonable. So we'll just use our usual rule of thumb, Q dot sensible, 
equals 1.08 CFM delta T. And if we solve that for the volume, CFM equals 26,000 divided by 1.08. And the delta T, they said the air temperature increases 16 degrees between when it enters the room and when it's extracted. So that is the delta T. And that gives us a volume flow rate of 1507 CFM. So that's the required volume of supply air, answer B.